Hello and welcome. Today we are at war. Sony has been trying to stop various companies from making PS5 faceplates since October 2020. And now in February 2021, there are currently two companies who have successfully sold PS5 faceplates in various colors, dbrand and CMP shells. PS5 faceplates have been a big talking point for gamers since the release of next-gen consoles, sparking various businesses to create black faceplates after the PS5 was released with standard white plates. Dbrand has wanted to make these plates since December 2020, and CMP, they started this battle, but since then, they've had multiple threats from Sony and multiple name changes. Now, both of these companies are making custom faceplates in various colors. There might be some competition here, despite the comparison and differences between the two companies. Let's look at this in more detail. As you'd expect, both of these companies offer disc and digital console plates. But the biggest difference between them, I think, is the color selection. Dbrand currently only offers black, but CMP offers black, red, and blue, meaning that CMP has more of a variety, and they even offer matching vinyl skins for the central part of the PS5 and the DualSense controllers. Whilst Dbrand may only offer one colour for their plates, they also have seven different skins for the central part of the PS5, but they don't offer any controller skins at all. As of when this video was made, Dbrand are currently selling their fourth wave, meaning that these plates are quite popular. However, we don't know how many is in each wave. Meanwhile, CMP plates say their first batch sold out in a day, and there are 1,000 in each batch. CMP do say at the time of when this video was made that the plates will arrive at the customer's address at the end of February, which seems a lot better than waiting until May 2021 for dbrand plates. Let's talk money. Money is a big factor in making PS5 face plates, it seems. Whilst I feel that $50 is a lot for a couple of pieces of plastic. Some people might like it. Some people might want to spend that amount of money on a piece of plastic, despite the fact that you could also choose to DIY your plates for much cheaper. However, some people recommend this more as it allows more creativity and more freedom in terms of color choice without the high price tag. Of course, regardless of whether you decide to buy a faceplate from dbrand or CMP, you'll be paying roughly $50. Bearing in mind though, I live in the UK, so the shipping rates might be a bit different depending on your location, but Dbrand charge $8.95, making it £57.95 including shipping. But in contrast, CMP charge $6.99, making it $56.98 with shipping. So the prices are pretty much the same, but the difference changes if you purchase anything else with the plate. For example, dbrand have an option to buy middle skins in various colors, including neon yellow, which looks absolutely ridiculous, matte black, which is a little bit pointless unless you're worried about scratches on the middle piece of the PS5, and white if you fancy making your PS5 look like an Oreo. If you decide to buy a middle skin with plates, the skin is $11.95, but a middle skin alone is $20. CMP on the other hand, they are a bit more reserved with their range. They have black, white, blue, and red. However, red and blue are only available to those who buy in bundles, whereas black can be in a bundle or standalone. However, white is only available by itself. It's not available in a bundle at all. CMP's middle skins are $15, but they are included in the bundle price. Speaking of CMP's bundles, they are $70, but they include two plates for either disc or digital console, a middle skin and a vinyl controller skin, which are all matching in colour. Meanwhile, dbrand's bundles include the plates, middle skin and a cloth for $60.95. 
including shipping that comes to $69.90. CMP costs $76.98 with shipping. However, CMP has included a final skin for the dual sense, making it a little bit more worth it. Plus, having to wait three months for a D brand plate is kind of off putting. So, despite the $7 extra for a CMP bundle, I'd rather buy from CMP to save waiting months on end to receive a black PS5 faceplate from Nebrand. In comparison, just buying a plate, CMP works out cheaper and gets to you a lot quicker. Before I wrap up, I'd like to mention that all appropriate links for the CMP and Dbrand websites will be in the description and do let me know what you guys think about this topic. Either way, this is where the war of PS5 faceplates is really beginning, and I have no doubts that Sony themselves will be joining soon enough. This is the PS5 faceplate war, and it's only just beginning. Thank you for watching, and until my next video, take care and goodbye. Thank you.